Time to try to catch some crappie on minnows. Under a slip bobber rig. I actually got two rods and reels with me. I'm going to put one out and then the other I'm going to try fishing near this bank here. I have a fluorocarbon leader, then a double uni. I put a sinker on the braid, got the slide and float, put two beads on it, and a bobber stop. Bobber stops work really good on braid. On monofilament and fluorocarbon, they don't work that great. I actually like using bigger minnows, but this is all I could get today. And as always, I seem to be getting a lot of wind and potential rain today. Can't get a break away from the weather. Caught a bass right next to the boat. It's a little bit bigger than the other one I caught while crappie fishing. I'm doing a good job with catching bass while crappie fishing. It's a nice one. I think this is a large mouth. He doesn't have any teeth on his tongue. Although the back of the mouth doesn't extend beyond the eye. That's usually how I identify large mouth from spotted. And I'm going to let this guy go. Let them grow up. I just about floated away here. You can see how good these grips are. It actually broke the wood and stayed gripped to the wood. So I'm gonna have to put this on here a little bit differently. I'll put them right there on the very end. See if it holds on there really good. I really wished I had bigger minnows. And this one's wrapped around the entire boat. Still have minnow on it. I'm gonna put a new minnow on it. There's a bigger minnow. This will be good for out there in the deep. Maybe we have a break from the wind so that one can stay out there for a while instead of getting blown to shore. Maybe it'd be more appropriate to call this fishing with minnows underneath a float. I will have to see what else I catch today. Cool, got another bass. And I smacked myself in the face with a bass. The wind is blowing me around everywhere today. I just keep rocking back and forth where I'm stuck on the wood there. He swallowed that hook pretty good. Well, here's bass number two. Doing a real good job at catching bass today. Maybe I'll call this a bass fishing video so I can start catching crappie. I'm gonna let him go. Let him grow up. Grow up. <laughs> Nothing on the big minnow yet. Keeps getting blown towards the shore over here. It is being kind of slow here, even for the bass bite. I might try moving in a little bit. Just have to keep tossing them back out there and hope for the best.
Uh oh, snagged. Lost my leader line and my hook. That was my good hook too. I just started floating a little bit. See if I could get something over here. I'm not gonna re-rig this, I'm gonna use my other rod and reel. I have this thing like 20 feet deep, so I gotta pull this knot down a little bit. It's bobber stop. It's letting the wind blow me around instead of using the trolling motor. Oh, fish on. <laughs> bluegill <laughs> nice bluegill right, here's the catch of the day a bluegill on minnows I've actually caught bluegill while crappie fishing with minnows before these guys do like eat minnows I almost want to put him on one of my catfish rods and drop him in the water here uh, I'm gonna let him go well, that was a quick release. I'm going to see if I can catch some more and get off this tree I'm on. Man, this wind has picked up a lot. I think I got myself pinned on this tree a little bit. Still want to be free floating here so I can move around. Scratching up my new boat. Actually, it's not really new anymore. I've had it for quite a while now. I'm just poking holes in it now. <coughs> and scaring all the fish away. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get out of this little predicament I'm in and move to another spot. Or rather, motor to another spot. I don't know if the other spot has any crappie in it, but it's worth checking out. Alright, I've moved to a new spot here. There's a lot of wood underwater here, so hopefully it will contain some fish. I'm a little bit protected from the wind here, so I think I'm going to try to rig up my other rod and reel. I'm going to drop it straight down. This is about 20 foot of water that I'm in right here with all these trees. Well, I'm snagged up. In fact, I just unsnagged my other rod that I had straight down. Oh, well, it came out. See if I bent the hook. No, it must have been some kind of grass. I think I'm going to untether here and float around and try some of the other spots of this bank. I've cast it literally everywhere here and nothing is grabbing the minnows. You can get these holds tight grippers at Hook Setter. You can find them on Amazon too. If you want me to give you an Amazon associate link for this so I can get a little commission if you buy one, leave a comment below. I'll give you the link in the comment. Gonna hit the tree.
Well, I tried again to catch some crappie and didn't catch any. I don't know what the deal is. Crappie must not like my hooks or my baits. Or I'm just fishing the wrong places. The crappie have to be in the area for you to actually catch them. I will keep trying to catch crappie in the future. I may have to get some outside help to help me catch some crappie. It's still great to be out on the lake and I was successful in catching some fish, even if they were bass. And it's actually a nice cool day. I like days like this. And thankfully I haven't been rained on yet. So I'm going to head back to the boat ramp and head home. I want to thank you guys for taking your time to watch my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hopefully one of these days I will catch a crappie. Thank you again.